Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Friday, May 27th, 2022. Today we're pulling from the Wheel of the Year Tarot Cards. So we have the beautiful star card again. Very Gaia energy with the seaweed. You can see Gaia right here, but very Gaia energy. And it's like, you know, you see her hands raised up to the divine. And it's like, call upon the universe, you know. You know, you see this star right by, that's really highlighted for me, right by her crown chakra. You know, and I feel like, you know, when yesterday they were talking about like the Ace of Swords, when they're offering her the swords or the Four of Cups, it's like, you know, the universe is bringing in things or offering things that will sit there and help the situation. The star almost healed a, a, a period of peace and healing and embodies the peaceful and creative spirit of the zodiac sign Aquarius. So our higher levels of thinking, you know, we definitely get touchings of that with, with uh, the star as well as the high priestess. It could mean you're reuniting with someone after a breakup or a separation from a loved one for the time being. There's no negative symbols with this card. This card always is a joyful sight to see. This card may come after a tough time and bring the message that there is peace on its way to you. All beauty and light will soon be restored. In your world, you may receive assistance from someone in the process. Some readers consider this card to symbolize your guardian angel. Here to bring peace and love. Sorry, I just got updates coming up on my computer. And joy after heartache. This is a card where it feels too good to be feel this good. Believe it because you deserve this joy after whatever you've gone through in the past. You can pin your dreams on this star because they are ready to make them come true. And I feel like it's just like a positive omen. Definitely go back to Monday's cards where they had tsunami. And it's like now we're turning a corner. You know, and this positivity is coming in. And I feel like, you know, the word compassion for two days in a row was a word that really stood out to us. And it's just like, you know. You got to have compassion with yourself, not only with this person, but with yourself. We go to the world and it also talks about compassion. Look at her crown chakra. This is very the Brazilian carnival or like, you know, um, with, uh, um, I can think of uh, Toronto with Caravana. You know what I mean? Where it's that, you know, celebration, you know, but I also feel like it's like, you know, this is something I felt like during my meditation is where they like kind of sat there and it was like a helmet, like the top of your head. It was like a helmet sitting on your head and they just lifted it off and it's like expand your mind, right? It's just like beyond whatever this is, this life is, you know? And I was just like, okay. And I just like, you know, it's like gaining knowledge and receiving knowledge. And I feel like, you know, we were talking about that leveling up. And I feel like it's like you're gaining so much knowledge, your your head cannot contain it anymore. Like, you know, we got to, you know, go beyond. And you see that with her crown here. So we head over to the world card. You're reaching a point in your day in a situation where things truly come full circle. And love this could mean an engagement or a new beginning is not possible, but inevitable. A marriage or a proposal or a brand new step in your journey is here. So I definitely feel like, you know, um, for some, this is love where it's an engagement and a proposal. But I feel like for some, this is like, you know, like a verbal commitment coming to a, uh, an actual um, legal commitment. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're on the precipice of that. The same applies to work or career situations, just like I was talking about. Your work may take you somewhere out in the world, connect you with foreign people or events. You may take on a role with foreign matters. The four fixed signs are present with this card. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. So every sign element is present here. Combination of elements. One of these fixed zodiac signs can be the key to your world, to your situation as well. The message here, stay committed and fixated on your goals like these signs do. And success is just around the corner. There is a, an end of a significant, uh, that's, this is an end of a cycle that signifies the completion of one journey and the beginning of a new, uh, uh, all new exciting one. When you see this card in your day, know that the world is definitely your oyster at this time. Everything you've been working for is about to happen. Enjoy it. And I feel like this is our manifestations. You know, sometimes we don't realize our, um, you know, we ask for things and, you know, this is where it's like, be specific. And I was specific, but it's just like, you know, the universe knew that, you know, that time was not near. So they brought something else in. And I did, I was upset about it. Like, not with the universe, but just upset that the fact that something I put my heart and soul into uh, because of the external world got taken out. And that was hard for me to accept. Um, but I knew what I had to do for my family. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, we don't understand what sometimes blessings come in. 
and it's hard for us to accept it, but it's like that that's the thing. It's acceptance. And it'll take you time. And the universe knows that, that you know, you're not gonna overlook a blessing or bypass a blessing because you know what it'll do for you. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's like to never overlook certain things that come in our life. So we have the four swords. So I feel like in one hand it's like universe is like we have the winter to stay indoors and and rest and rejuvenate so get yourself outside you know i definitely get that gaia energy with the star but i also feel like you know this could be a time where it's just like maybe you felt isolated you know what i mean and i feel like that isolation is over and it's time for healing now you know what i mean i feel like you're, you're turning that corner we got that with monday's cards where we saw the river card where it's like turning a corner this card heals a car this card is a healing card that comes after heartache of the three of swords most tarot decks show religious symbols as if healing is taking place in a church. There's a loss associated with this card. Although it is neither dark and light in nature, it's simply a resting time to regroup, collect yourself, and heal after a difficult time. When you see this card, this is not an action card, but rather the one that suggests a time for prayer and rest is needed before you can pick up the sword again and battle forward. So I definitely feel like universe is like, let me, you know, we're, we want you to rest and rejuvenate. We want you to sit there and take advantage of this time, you know? We want you to sit there and, um, you know, get in a good place, you know, and I feel like, you know, don't keep pushing, 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 you know what I mean? Go with the flow of things, especially, you know, I, you know, definitely with my meditation and prayer and being thankful, you know, for allies coming in to help us out with this situation. You know, I definitely feel like the waiting crescent. I believe we're in that cycle right now because we're headed towards the new moon. And I feel like this is what universe is saying. You know, this is a time for balance to be brought back in. If you see like uh, the light coming back in, you know what I mean? Because we're headed to the, the, the crescent, the waiting crescent, you know, and I feel like this is where like, you know, Mercury will go direct. And a lot of people are like, oh, you, anyone could say that, you know, Mercury will be out of the sky. So it'll be easier. I don't feel like there's going to be hangover energy. They're showing uh, June 8th. So, oh, that's my anniversary machine. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So it's just like, um, it's like, you know, taking advantage of this time, bringing back in the, 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 the peace and the love and the joy. I feel like it's like, you know, making the most of this time, you know, you know, if you have the kids that are on summer break, it's like, take advantage of that to reconnect with them. I feel like things like at this time, like everything just like calms down and it's like, we can really concentrate what's important. You know, I feel like Christmas time is that kind of time. And I feel like summer break is that kind of time. The high priest is a reminder that you don't know everything in a situation. It is possible that someone was holding information from you and that you not have been given all the facts. See this tarot card means that you are the one that needs to implore to your own devices to get to the truth of the matter. The high priestess is very spiritual, not bogged down by fantasy. She deals with information and refer references that you may not have all the facts at this time. This is why the major arcana card is not an action card, but a sign to take, to take a passive approach. You may have the answers within. And I feel like this is why with Monday, it was like meditation, prayer, and just be open to receive. I definitely feel like with the crown chakra, from the world card, it's like, get ready to, you know, receive those messages. So we go to the three cups, making ourselves whole. So we're turning into this positive direction. And I feel like, you know, this is where they're saying having compassion for yourself. You know, as people that like myself, that is our problem solvers, try to help people. We got to realize at the end of the day, you know, if the person isn't willing to help themselves, like there's only so much you can do. You know what I mean? You can't carry all that weight as much as it's as hard as that is for you to accept. It's like, you know, unless the person puts the work in and does is willing to do everything they're supposed to. It's like only will that, you know, take place. The three of cups, we see three women toasting in celebration and occasion or experience. So with me, with the three, it's like making us whole again. You know what I mean? We feel like we're, we're ripped out. This is what happens during retrograde. This is what happens with ebbs. This is what happens walking through the valley of the shadow of death. And it's like, who shows up at that time? Those are your people. Those are your allies. Those are the people you can count on. The three of cups often represents a special occasion that comes in your into your life. It could be a date. This is often considered a date card. So we do see a birth of something here. You know what I mean? This could be a relationship, a birth of a relationship. You know, this could be the birth of a child, you know, because we see the gosling and people are celebrating, you know? So I feel like, you know, 
this is where they're saying like, you know, this positivity is coming in. It could be an event like a wedding. Feminine energy is high in this card, suggesting that the meeting and gathering women could play a role in the situation this card depicts in your day. At the same time, the Three of Cups could just be that bring the message that good times are on their way to you. You may be the kind that have you celebrating life in general with a toast with your favorite women. So it's just like, you know, it's gathering and celebrating. And I feel like that's what life is about. We forget that a lot of the time that life is still worth celebrating. You know, even though they try to keep kicking us down, kicking us down, you know, with these external nonsense, you know, making everything more expensive and making us feel like we're less than because we can't provide for our families the way we want to. And it's like, it's not us though. You know what I mean? Like, it's the outside world. Like, you know, no matter how hard we try, it's just like, you know, you, you, when gas is $2, how are you supposed to decide? How, am I supposed to feed my family or go to work? Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, what do you do? You know, and that's what they don't understand. The rich are getting richer and the poor are freaking suffering. We have the Empress. So we have the full moon, you know, bringing that light back into the situation. And I feel like, you know, this is where, you know, that energy rechargeable time is coming in. It's like get yourself out that full moon and, and, and absorb all of that energy you can. When the Empress appears in your reading, you can rest assured that good you're in a good place in the world. So I feel like by the full moon in June, everything will be have that turn come in. There's, that's exactly how you created it. This tarot card could be literal and pointing to you to information about your own mother, about yourself as a mother, or mother figure in your world or in situation. The Empress is powerful and very self-assured. She questions none of her, the decisions she makes. In the same way, a mother raises her young does not question herself. This card is a good omen for success in all areas of your life. If it feels like things are too good to be true, that's because they're very good at the moment. But don't question it. You have worked hard to reach this point, this, reach this place, and you deserve every second of it. You sat there, and they keep showing the word karma as I'm reading this. It just popped up now. And it's just like, you know... You got to sit there and realize who you are. You know, we keep on saying embrace your power, embrace your energy, embrace who you are. This is not being cocky. This is just, you know, the universe saying, hey, you know what I mean? You can handle this. You got this. You know what I mean? You know, even though like with, with myself, it's like you feel like, you know, you feel like you're being kicked down right now. But it's just like the universe got your back. And I feel like that's why the star is here. We got your back. You know, they're showing sunflowers with... um the queen of wands, they show sunflowers with the, uh, the world card is like success is coming here, you know? So this is how you're being seen. Dramatic, confident, has a flair that sparkles passion in any situation you encounter. If representing you in a reading, this is how you're being perceived by the world or by someone in your world. I feel like this is how you're seen. You are being seen as confident, passionate, kind, and a little bit intuitive. You fear nothing as you go into the world and it shows in your success. You are seen as Someone that takes mat matters, uh, you take care of matters to ensure a peace and bliss return to your domain. And that's what I mean. It's like when we're going through these really crazy situations, it's like we want peace to return to the domain. You know, I value my peace, my freedom, um, my sanctity, my sanctuary. You know, I always want to make sure everyone around me is feeling the same thing. Very Libra energy, right? And it's just like, you know, we want to make sure everyone feels that kind of energy. So I feel like, you know, it's like, that's all we can do, you know, just do our very best. And like, again, if you're trying to, like, I know there's a certain situation where it's like, you know, I thought it was until the person would pass away. And it, unfortunately it was just like, nope, they just, you know, want to be controlling. They, that's just the way they are. And the repeating cycles over and over and over again. You know what I mean? And it's just like, that's who they are. So you got to accept it and just be like, move forward. You know what I mean? There's been so many revelations in the past five oh, half years, you know? So it's just like, that's all you can do. You know, I feel like it's like now you have all the information. It's like blessings are coming in. And what are you going to do with it? Are you going to repeat history? Are you going to sit there and learn from this and come into your own and step into your own power and take things into the matters into your own hands, you know, in a positive way, no, no harm to none. Right. So the king of wands appears in your day to meet you to you will meet with assistance from an older male who embodies many of the characteristics of the fire signs. So we got him yesterday. He was part of January 24th that this ally would come in. For me, this is a young person that has an old soul that is wise beyond their years. And they are going full, coming full circle where they went through this situation. They had allies to help them out. And now they're helping others in this situation. 
He is warm, charming, sexy, and a bit of, uh, and, and vicarious, has a good grasp on finances and success, both emotionally and practically. This is an older gentleman, but you would no, never almost uh, guess it by the way you approach his life. If the King of Wands enters your day, you may be getting uh, an unexpected inheritance or windfall with no harm to none. You know, I do not wish that journey on my worst enemy. You know, to have a part of your soul missing like that is just, ugh. Or you simply may be receiving support from someone whose energies will make your troubles disappear with a twinkle of a warm smile. You know what I mean? I feel like there's definitely a lot of allies coming up in that way. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's like never overlook those people. It doesn't matter. Like, you know, I was saying this yesterday, their background, their education, their, their, their income, their status, whatever it is. It's like, you know what? The universe put that person in your life for a reason. You know, appreciate those people because you know what? It's a blessing. Good people are far and few between. We have the four pentacles here. You know what I mean? A lot of people think money. Yeah, financially, a lot of us are like, you know, we're clinging on to everything because we're like, it's like, how the heck are we supposed to pay the mortgage and feed our kids and, and X, Y, and Z, you know, take your kids out to enjoy the summer. But it's just like, how are you supposed to do that when, you know, gas is r ridiculous right now, you know? So with the four pentacles of grounding forces, you know, I feel like in this situation where we're hanging on to like, you know, for some of, you know, Leah Remini was touching on this, you know, where her daughter's going off to college and, the one woman was like, you know, um, it was like a death in the family. She was a lady in the office and the daughter grabs the microphone. She's like, I ain't dead. <laughs> it was so funny. But you know what I mean? I, it's just like maybe you're going through that situation. But I feel like universe is like, you know, again, it's just like, it, it you know, the, the, you have nothing to fear at all. You know what I mean? This is a period we're going through. You know what I mean? This too, this information too will come useful in the future. The message of the four of pentacles when it arrives in your day is that you're hanging on to something out of fear. There is nothing wrong with that. We all hang on to things of fear of losing them. This is not an action card, but a card of pulling everything close to your vest in an effort to maintain control and stability. It's not so much control. It's so much that we want stability. You know what I mean? In my situation, I want stability in this person's life. I want them to be happy. I want them to wake up every day and like, you know, what are we going to do today? Like, let's, let's, let's. Let's do something fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, obviously when school's going on, it's just like, it ain't fun. You know what I mean? To, you know, certain kids. But it's just like, you know what I mean? It's just like, this is the time of year to bring that fun into the year. You know what I mean? Just like Christmas time, it feels like. It often takes great discipline to do so. The theme of discipline is also present in your day when you see this card. When this card appears, the message is to have a look at your environment. What are you so afraid of losing? It may be a, a bit of a, a it may be, may not be a bad idea to relax your ways of life as this card brings a message you have nothing to worry at all, but I do, you know prayers do not hurt. Those conversations don't hurt, you know what I mean. I always pray for my loved ones, you know what I mean. I anyone tells me something's going on with one of their loved ones, I pray for them. I think like meditation, you're going through something, ask the universe, say, the universe, like as you start your meditation, get into that zone. And just say, like, you know, have those conversations, you know, like, what what do I do in this situation, you know, and just let you know, let the meditation happen and just let whatever happened happen, you know. Get into that where you could just sit there and med talk to have those conversations with the universe, you know. This is what the universe wants is us to turn to them first. We always run to X, Y, and Z. It's like turn to them first. Prayer, meditation. You know, those answers will come to you in dreams, in that meditation, that will give you those answers. You know, that's exactly, what, it'll be fine. You know what I mean? Because it's, you know, it's not so much a, that you want to control things. It's just like you want, you want to fix things, you know? Nobody wants anyone, to, you know, if you have a good heart, you don't want to see anyone suffering. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what, you know, the universe is talking about here. You don't want to see anyone suffering. So like... How can we lend a hand? Like, you know, and I feel like universe is like, I see what you're going through. You know, let's, we'll, we'll give you the answers. Just ask for the answers and we'll give them to you. So hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday, May 27th, 2022. May the universe bless you good. Have a happy and safe weekend. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.